And of course, please take a moment to like, subscribe, and share our videos in support of our channel. Thanks guys. Much love and appreciation to you. Hemakuta Hill. Hemakuta Hill consists of medieval pathways towards the northwest corner of the Krishna temple that leads to a group of early temples, predominantly having pre Vijayanagara in character. All these structures are enclosed in a large enclosure of cyclopean wall with majestic entrances at the north and east. On the Himakuta hilltop, about 30 temples of varying sizes and shapes are built and datable between the 9th and 16th century. These temples belong to single, two, and three Garbhagriyas or Sanctum Sanctorium and are the examples of pre Vijayanagara architecture of the sacred Hampi. A square tank is situated north of Virupaksha Temple. A small early Vijayanagara temple is situated on top of Himakuta Hill, which is identified as the Mula Virupaksha Temple, in which place Shiva meditated. From here, he moved to the place where the present-day Virupaksha Temple is situated. Behind the Mula Virupaksha Temple, a huge image of Anjaniya measuring 2.6 meters is found in a Garbhagriva sort of room without any architectural members. On the Hemakuta Hill, the temple found on the eastern side is a Trikuta structure with three Garbhagrihas. The principal Garbhagriha faces north and the other two face east and west respectively. Another Trikuta temple on the eastern side has an inscription recording that Vira Kampila Deva, son of Mumani Singhya Mayaka, the Kampili chief, built the Shivala and installed it in three lingams. Virupaksha Temple as one descends down towards the north from the Himakuta hilltop, one can reach the eastern entrance of the Virupaksha temple. The Virupaksha or Pampati temple is the most sacred living temple of Hampi. The temple, originally a small shrine, was expanded into a vast complex of present dimensions during the first half of the 16th century. The entire temple complex is within a large rectangular enclosure divided into two large courts with imposing tower gateways. Prolagnadi Tipa, an officer of Devaraya II, is said to have caused the eastern entrance. The inner eastern, smaller entrance of Gorupura and painted pillared Ranga Mandapas were built by Krishna Deva Raya in 1510 on the occasion of his coronation. The complex has numerous subsidiary shrines and pillared Kloiper Mandapas all along the enclosure wall. Some of the important subsidiary shrines are of Mukti Narishama, Navadurga, Taraxwara, Swarswari, Vidya Ranya, Parvati, to name a few. A narrow water channel is drawn from the Tungabhatra River, which flows along the terrace of the temple and gradually descends to the temple kitchen and finally flows through the outer Prakara enclosure and later joins the river. The main sanctum houses Shivalingam, known as the Rapaksha, the tutelari deity of Vijay Anadara kings. However, the most outstanding is the ceiling paintings of the Vijay Anagara in the Ranga Mandapa. 
The noteworthy paintings are of the procession of sage Vidyaranya, Dipalakaras, and the ten incarnations of Vishnu. Girija, Kalayana, Kalyana, Sundara, Arjuna, and Shiva as Tripurari. The puja rituals are performed according to the norms laid down by the sage Sri Vidyaranya, and on behalf of Sri Vidyaranya, the pontiffs conduct the daily puja rituals. A pair of sacred footwear of Sri Vidyaranya is placed in front of the deity.